statement coming off the bye week, and then we'll follow with questions. All right, so I, I really think we had a, a good week last week, a pretty spirited three days. Um, our guys got a chance to get away over the weekend, and hopefully, uh, well, I know we came back last night and had a good Sunday night practice. I'll have today off, and, and then it's back to work on Tuesday. I think it came at a great time. We'd gone nine straight weeks of playing games. Um, obviously, we had all of two a days, so the guys had really hadn't had a break. And you know where we're at right now is where you want to be. You know, I don't know how many teams in the country can say it's it's November and they have a chance to play for a championship and we control our own destiny, which is a great place to be. I mean, that's that's where you want to be, and and we've earned that. Our players have earned that, and so we're excited about uh, the opportunity this week to go play down at, uh, at Rice. David Bailiff has, has done a great job there. Just his consistency, done a great job recruiting. It was just two years ago they won our league. They were a bowl team last year. Got a, a veteran quarterback, senior quarterback, an excellent senior receiver, really good running backs on offense. And then defensively, they've been beat up a little bit, which, it, which stings, you know, you just, it's hard to replace good players. They had to replace a number of defensive linemen, and then their defensive end hurt his knee at the start of the year. But they've continued to play hard. Those players have only gotten better. And uh, we're going to have to be at our best because they've got good coaches. I know both of their coordinators. They do a great job. They've got good players. And, and when you've got a senior quarterback, uh, they're always a threat. And um, you know we're talking about one of the, the best programs in our conference and, and best coach teams that you're going to face. So uh, we're going to have to be at our best, and I anticipate that our guys will be. Coach, you mentioned the bye week coming at a good time. Was it also at a good time because people got a chance to get the bowl eligibility, bowl eligibility out of their system kind of? I guess that could be some of it. I think some being where you're, you know, okay, we've had a chance to, we've reached our first goal, and now we get a chance to have a little bit of a break and refocus for the for the last three games. That That's probably some of it. I think also as you know, Dylan Bradley got dinged up a couple weeks ago or three weeks ago, then re-injured it. But I think he'll be fine this week, which is good. He's a really good player for us. You know, I think Justice Hayes getting another week to get back. Quincy Russell, some of those guys to just continue to add depth to our team. So you know, and it's uh, it's just one of those things. You're just excited to uh, to get an opportunity right now uh, to get a little break, get away, and then. You know, two of the last three games are on the road, and we're going to have to, to be at our best. What, shows up, what usually stands out most after a bye week? Like, what do you, what do you, what's normally the biggest um, advantage? After, after a I think you get a little bit of uh, extended preparation on the next opponent. I just think you have a chance to look forward. If you're not careful, though, you'll have too much because you have a lot of time on your hands. But the biggest thing is, OK, you know, we really get to dial in on, on some of the things. We played Rice, obviously, last year. And to get a chance to really look ahead and work a little bit more towards your plan, because it's really not about the calls. It's about how you execute the calls, developing a great plan, working your plan, and then executing it. So the more you can work on specific things that you uh, that you plan on utilizing its rice now did we do all that last week no but um, we did some of it so and I'm not you know I'm not concerned I'm more concerned leading into the buy than I am after the buy coach um, probably had an opportunity to break down rice a little bit more they dropped a game this past weekend that a lot of folks kind of expected them to win does that make them a little more dangerous going into this weekend I don't know I can't speak to their mindset I know that all, all we had to do when we were getting ready for UTEP was watch them against FAU. And once they got their quarterback back, they got – and they'd had a bye week. And they got a little bit of their mojo back and played at home. And it's hard to win on the road. And so, you know, I saw that when FAU went there. And so when they came here, you know, it's trying to convince your team that each week's different and your team can build momentum or lose it. And so there was a moment probably with UTEP that they didn't have it. And if you played them then, you weren't getting the same team. Well, now that, that's, that's a good enough football team in our league. So that did not surprise me that they went down there and played a good football team. I don't think that's any disrespect to Rice. I just think it says a lot about UTEP and how they played. And UTEP did a pretty good job of, of um, keeping the football away from Rice. And it shrunk the game. I think Rice only had 50-something snaps in the game. So 
you know, they kept it away from a senior quarterback. That's good football, and, and then on the road. And, and, but I can't speak to how Rice felt after the, the Louisiana Tech, you know, game where they, you know, had a chance to be in first. I, I can't. I, I expect them to be excited, ready to go. You've got uh, too many veteran coaches on their staff. You've got a senior quarterback, a team that's used to winning. I, I expect they will have a great week of practice, and that's, and they should expect we're going to have a great week of practice be ready to go. Coach, you're coming off your first uh, perfect quarter, and you always talk about or breaking the season down into four quarters. So how do you assess the last three games, that being the case? Well, you want to get, like I said before, to where you you get you get to where the games matter. And I think everybody hopes to get to November and and then okay, let's be playing our best football. Let's be to where um, these games, like I said, um, make or break your season when it comes to winning a championship. So, you know, we had a nice you know third quarter where we went you know we won all three. So that's where I hoped we would be, but didn't know. You got to go play the games. So now we just we get a chance to work this week and get prepared for a good Rice team, and and we'll see again another road test for us, and we'll see how far we've come. Coach, over the past month, the team has played incrementally better in different facets of the game each week. How high is the ceiling for this team? Well, we've got good coaches, we've got good players, and we've got good schemes. I don't think we've played a perfect game yet. I really don't. But, you know, not that you ever play a perfect game. You don't. Yeah, but you strive for that. I did think that last week against, or two weeks ago against UTEP, I did think we did a lot of things well, collectively scored on special teams. We held them under 300 yards, didn't give up big plays, and then offensively, other than the one time Nick got hit, we didn't turn it over. We didn't fumble it in the rain. So those were good signs. Um, again, you can't carry it over week to week, but I do like our players. I think we've got good skill players. I think we're, we're veteran guys up front. We've got a good quarterback. I think we're athletic on defense and we like to play. So I do like our team. And the good news is we haven't really, I don't think, played as well as we can play. When you're winning each week, you're building momentum. And then when you take a week off, is there anything you have to do as a coach to kind of recharge that momentum you guys had before the bye week? I don't, I don't think so. We'll see come Tuesday. I don't think there'll be anything we need to recharge. Um, I, I don't, I can't imagine that other than we've said it to our guys, I just can't imagine that our guys don't understand what's in front of them. There's no, there's no reason to turn back now. I mean, now's the time, man. This is, this is it. This is what you play for. I mean, you know, our, our number one goal was to get to a bowl game. We've got that, okay, but everything else is still in front of us. So I don't feel like I need to explain it too much other than to say, hey, we, we've come a long way, but we're there and we're good enough. This isn't, well, we need this break. We don't need any breaks. We absolutely don't need one break. We just need to play good football, play to the best of our ability, and we control our own destiny starting this week against Rice. What is it that Rice does defensively um, that you know, gives them the best chance to win? Well, you're going to have to play good football against them because they're very sound in what they do. Their guys play hard. They're going to be dialed in. When you're, when you're very good at what you do, and you do the same things over and over, they're going to have a pretty good beat on what we do. So we're going to, we're going to have to execute. We're going to have to, um, how do I want to say it? it? It's not going to be a matter they're going to turn somebody loose. They're not going to blow a coverage. They're not going to be out of a gap. So we have to be able to execute better than they do it. Okay, you know, it's just the way it is. And it was that way last year. We just didn't do a good enough job of doing it. So, and they've got good players. So. That's that's the, the biggest challenge. They got good players, got good coaches, and they do they do good things on defense and force you to execute. Day in and day out, Sinker still uh, at the point that you are. Where do you see out of your players that you know you know they're still uh, motivated and, and, and ready to play? Um, I, I don't know if there's anything in particular. I I. I I, I can say this, just like last week, I didn't think we had a very good Tuesday, but we told them. So that on Wednesday, I thought we had a great Wednesday. So it's, it's one of those things where I think we've got a mature team and a talented enough team, a team that understands that you can be honest with these guys. I mean, you can, you can, you can tell them straight. You can tell them when it's not right. You can tell them when it is right. You can tell them when we've got to be better. And they've responded the whole year. 
you know, have, have, have done that. So, again, can I speak to every player on their team, to their motivation or where they're at or their confidence level? No. I can only go by how we practice. I can only go by their energy, their attitude, their body language every day and see how they bring it. How many guys are coming in and watching film on the off day on their own? How many guys are asking questions in the meeting rooms? How many guys are engaged? You know, and then I ask our coaches, are the guys engaged? Are they taking notes? Are we trying to do it better than Rice? That's all that matters this week is how do we do it better than Rice? We don't need to worry about anything else. Are we having better meetings than they are? Are we having better practices? Are we developing a plan better than they do? That's what this puzzle is. And so I can only go by our coaching staff, their dedication to us getting better, our players doing things consistently that gives us the best chance to win, irrespective of talent. That's what we've always tried to strive for here is it's, it's not about talent. Talent does win, but the bottom line is, is what are we doing? Are we doing our part to solve the puzzle? Yeah, I mean, it's the, the message is very clear. We control our own destiny. Just look at teams. Just as they, the other the other day, I think I counted it up. Going into the weekend, there were 33 of 128 teams. Now, I might be off a little bit, so don't it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So 30 about 33 of 128 controlled their destiny to win a conference championship. That's 33. After this weekend, that's dwindled down. Some teams that have lost, and every week that's going to continue to where they, do, they don't control their own destiny to win their league. That's awesome. I don't know what it'd be this week. I didn't get a chance to add it up today. But that's where you want to be in a position to where, and you can't get to the end. I'm not saying that to our guys to, to look beyond anything. I mean, we're not, we don't want to look beyond today or tomorrow, but Rice is next. And so that's what our goal is, is the next game. Our guys have done a great job with that all year <clears throat> of not – really worrying about, per se, the opponent, but what they actually do. Offense, defense, and special teams, irrespective of the uniform, what is it that they present schematically that we have to be ready for and do it better than they do it? And um, that, that's our job every week is to do that and keep our guys focused. That's, that's, the, that's the real trick. Is there anything you did over the bye week that you didn't have time to do all year? Not particularly, no, other than my son had a, a friend over, and he actually asked me while we were sitting there watching football, he said, is this your, your normal day off? Do you normally get Saturdays off? And I said, okay, just hold on a second there, JR. Um, <laughs> just think about that question you just asked. And he said, oh, yeah, that, that was really silly. I said, yeah. It's, uh, I, first of all, who needs days off when you do your hobby? I mean, I, I'm serious. I mean, if you could do your hobby every day of the week, how awesome is that? I mean, who needs days off? Uh, I'm, I'm serious. I get to coach football for a living and be around, be at a great university, be around these, these, these great young men. And um, I mean, my day off is I'm watching football. I'm thinking about our team. I'm thinking about when I got to go back in on Sunday. I'm, I get to do my hobby for a living. I mean, how cool is that?